San Jose del Monte, officially the city of San Jose del Monte, Tagalog, Lungsod ng San Jose del Monte, or simply known as San Jose del Monte City, is a first-class city in the province of Bulacan, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 574,089 people, making it the largest local government unit within the province of Bulacan and the 18th most populated city in the Philippines. Located in the southeast of the province, it is bordered by the cities of Caloocan and Quezon of Metro Manila in the south, by the town of Rodriguez, Rizal in the east, the towns of Santa Maria and Marilao in the west and Norzagaray in the north. The city is home to some of the biggest resettlement areas in the Philippines like the Sapang Pele Resettlement Area spread over 36 barangays, Pavahay 2000 in Barangay Muzon and Towerville in Barangay Minuyan proper. Most of the city's population come from former informal settlers along the creeks, esteros, riverbanks and railway tracks of Metro Manila. History Early accounts on the founding of the city, as gathered from the old people, contend that it was formerly a part of the town of Maycayan. This is supported by a decree from the Archbishop of Manila dated March 1750 on the creation of new municipalities. The municipality of San Jose del Monte was then officially founded on March 2, 1752. The decree included the list of families who volunteered to be relocated. These families, most if not all from Lagulo, now Malacan, in Maycayan, brought with them rice, wine, naganga and salt from in exchange for the wild pigs, deer, yantok and almasigan of the Edas and Dumagots, the native inhabitants of the area. Solares, including intended lots for main roads, were peacefully distributed to the new occupants after being measured and surveyed. The town reportedly got its name from St. Joseph whose statue was found in a veritable forest, the hunters called it. San Jose del Monte. In all probability, the hunters reported their find to the parish priest of Maycayan. It was said that the priest built a stone church at the site where the town proper is now located. The statue was installed in the new church. Extant Catholic Church records reveal that the first parish priest was Father Antonio de Moral. He took charge of the parish in 1845. During the revolt against Spain, the town became a battleground between the Katipuneros and the Spanish forces. The revolutionaries lost and the vengeful Spanish soldiers burned down the settlement. The town people fled for their lives to nearby towns. At the advent of the American rule, it was made a part of Sta. Maria until 1918 when the town was recreated and Suriaco Gallardo appointed the first municipal president. Public schools were opened at the start of the American regime but due to the scarcity of the population, the highest grade organized was at the fourth grade. During the Japanese occupation, the town became an ideal hiding place of the local recognized guerrillas because of the town's hilly and wooden terrain. The Japanese Imperial Army took over the local government of San Jose del Monte from 1942-1943. In resistance, the municipality formed its own guerrilla unit. San Jose del Monte experienced large casualties when the Americans bombed the town center on January 11, 1945 and again on January 14, 1945. When the combined Filipino and American troops came, peace reigned but not for long. At the height of the Hukabalahop insurgency, the town was raided on October 10, 1950. The Hucks burned down the town hall. The town was raided for the second time on March 21, 1951. The Hucks did not succeed because of the precautionary measures instituted by the town officials after which the Hucks were gradually eliminated. On September 10, 2000, San Jose del Monte was proclaimed as a component city under Republic Act No. 8797. It became the first city in the province of Bulacan and recorded as the 86th chartered city of the Philippines. On December 18, 2003, the city of San Jose became the first lone congressional district in Bulacan. Geography The elevation of the city ranges from approximately 40 to 900 meters above sea level. The relief transitions from warm lowland to cool upland as one goes eastward. This is because the city is part of the Sierra Madre mountain range. Plains and river valley flats characterize the western and southwestern quadrant. The central portion and much of its eastern section is made up of undulating hills with low relief. 
High relief areas moderate slopes best describe its extreme eastern and northwestern quadrant. Slopes of 3% to 8% are extensively found in the city, particularly on the western half. Slopes of 30% to 50% comprise the smallest portion of the total land area. The rivers and creeks that flow in San Jose del Monte are direct tributaries of Angat River, which flows from the Angat Reservoir. Major natural waterways of San Jose del Monte are the Kipungak, Sto. Cristo and Sta. Maria River systems. Kipungak River separates San Jose del Monte from Caloocan City and Quezon City. It is directly connected to Marilao River, which flows downwards to Manila Bay. Draining to these rivers are creeks and streams, which act as catchment areas for the surface water runoff of the city. Among these are the Big T, Cantalot, Katinga and Salomon Creeks. General land use Growing commercial, residential, and light industrial areas, are found all over the city at major road intersections and along major thoroughfares. However, the bulk of the San Jose del Monte S built-up areas are mostly west of Quirino Highway at the primary level to gently sloping 8% terrain, dividing the city into a heavily built-up western section and the largely agricultural eastern section. Most of the city's schools, government institutions, commercial developments, industries, and other urban amenities are in this section. The largest contiguous built-up area is at Sepang Pele Resettlement Project Area, followed by the conurbation in Tungkong Manga and Muzon. The developments east of the Quirino Highway are mostly scattered residential areas and agricultural lands. However, there are a few subdivisions that are some distance away from Ciudad Real and take advantage of its secluded and rural atmosphere. These are the Blessed Sacrament Seminary and an Augustinian Convent. In between the built-up clusters are pockets of agricultural lands, which are continuously converted into built-up uses. Planted in these lands are crops such as rice and corn. The clustering pattern for both built-up and agricultural uses is partly due to the decisions made by settlers with regard to the hilly conditions that dominate the topography. Most of households in the western half of San Jose del Monte opted to convert their lands to residential uses while other maintained the farms. This left upland uses, such as those pertaining to forest use, more common towards the easternmost zones. Most vegetative outgrowths are in difficult-to-build areas. But there are instances when these outgrowths are integrated in the built-up areas, usually found in the west, a number heavily vegetated areas. Supplementing these are many forest projects of the city government. The city agriculture office maintains a one. 65 hectare mini forest project in Barangay Muzon along the San Jose del Monte Marilao Provincial Road and a mahogany planting site. Demographics In the 2015 census, the population of San Jose del Monte was 574,089 people, with a density of 5,400 inhabitants per square kilometer or 14,000 inhabitants per square mile. This makes it the largest local government unit in Bulacan province. It is also the largest city in central Luzon, Region 3. With the coming of settlers to San Jose del Monte, its population increased tremendously. Its population increased dramatically since the 1950s as the population tended to move from rural areas to towns and cities. Its proximity to Manila allowed it to accommodate its spill over population. This is further hastened by the development of nearby Quezon City and the accompanying increase in population and infrastructure. Forced relocation of informal settlers and the lure of government to provide them their own homes allowed the town to continue to grow despite the lack of government facilities then. As such, San Jose del Monte exhibited an increasing percentage share to the provincial population from as low as 2% in 1960 to 9% in 1990 and then to 17% in 2015. The town surpassed the population of Mekayan in 1980 census and Malolos in the 1990 census, then the largest towns of Bulacan. By 2015, it has more than two times the population of the now second place Santa Maria town, 256,454 people in the 2015 census. 
If current population growth holds 2010 to 2015, plus 4.55 percent, the population of San Jose del Monte is expected to double and breach 1 million by the 2030 census. Economy Agriculture Major agricultural crops are leafy vegetables, root crops, cassava as its OTOP, pineapple, mango and coffee beans. Livestock and poultry The major income earner is large and small-scale swine production. There are 60 commercial livestock and poultry farms in the city. The major poultry producers are RFM, Viteric and FELDAN. Trade and commerce The city has three major business district growth areas, Tungkong Manga, Muzon and Sepang Pele, Sampal. They are in wholesale and retail trade. The minor business districts include Towerville in Minuyan proper, Palmera in Capian, Northgate in Stowe. Cristo, Citrus, Poblacion I, Grotto in Graceville, Francisco Homes, Gamauic and San Rafael III. Commercial and thrift banks, pawnshops and cooperatives provide financial services. Two major malls are in town, Star Mall San Jose del Monte in Palmera and SM City San Jose del Monte in Tungkong Manga. Tourism San Jose del Monte is part of and promotes There is more fun in the Philippines. Campaign Department of Tourism, Philippines Mount Balagbag and Katitinga Falls in Barangay San Isidro are the main tourist attractions in the city. A portion of the Angat Watershed Forest Reserve also extends to San Jose del Monte. B.S. Orchids Farm, Sto. Cristo, is the biggest orchids nursery and ornamental plants farm in Bulacan, owned by Ms. Rolita Spoort, 3 Manila Seedling Bank Foundation, Quezon City. Hundreds of orchids species are nurtured in this 1.8 hectares flora haven. There are a variety of resorts where people can choose from if they are after a quick escape from the busy streets of Metro Manila. Churches St. Joseph the Worker Parish Church Parroquia ni San Pedro Apostol Church Sacred Heart of Jesus Parish Church San Lorenzo Ruiz de Manila Parish Our Lady of Lourdes Grotto Shrine Madre Alessadra House of Prayer Santo Rosario Sepang Pele Parish Church San Lorenzo Ruiz de Manila Parish Church from 1986 to 2000, the Pleasant Hill community has been a sub-parish of St. Peter Parish, Tungkong Manga under Rev. Fr. Manuel M. Manicad as the parish priest. On July 3, 2000, Rev. Fr. Mario José C. Ladra was appointed parish priest. On January 2004, some parish leaders and staff together with Freeview. Mar prepared documents for the change of status of the parish from a quasi-parish to a full-fledged parish. Bishop Jose F. Oliveros, D.D., Apostolic Administrator, Diocese of Malolos approved the request on January 27, 2004, Tuesday, the day when St. Joseph Healing Masses are held in honor of the parish's second patron saint. Immediately afterwards, the canonical establishment and solemn proclamation of the parish of San Lorenzo Ruiz de Manila was set on March 14, 2004. Reverend Fr. Mario Jose C. Ladra was likewise installed as its first parish priest. Our Lady of Lourdes Grotto Shrine The six hectares Lourdes Shrine Complex Church and the Grotto of the Blessed Virgin Mary, with the Miracle Spring, is a popular Holy Week destination for Catholic devotees. Inaugurated on February 11, 1965, owner Anita Guido Guanzan decided to build the grotto for she was cured of cancer upon her return from a pilgrimage to Lourdes, France, in 1961. The grotto also features a Calvary Hill with life-size statues that depict the 14 stations of the cross, and a Rosary Hill with 155 giant concrete beads. 
The complex is now run by Marietta Guido Guanzan Pakash Vda, de Holmgren, Anita's eldest child. After the matriarch died on March 31, 1990, it is an exact replica of the Lord's Grotto in France. Income the city has experienced increased revenues in the past few years. The P607,782,085.98 gross income surpassing the gross income of Makayan City and Malolo City capital, reported by the City Treasury Office and Commission on Audit for the 2008 fiscal year represented an increase of 15.96% from the 524,135,505.09 total in 2007. The income in 2008 was comparable to the major cities and municipalities in Bulacan, such as Makayan, Malolos, Baliwag, Santa Maria and Marilao. Infrastructure Transportation the city is serviced by bus routes going to and from, among others, Sapang Pele, Baclaran District in Parañaque, Muntinlupa, Alabang, Taguig, FTI, Makati, Quiapo and Sta. Cruz Districts in Manila, Novaliches District in Quezon City and the Ninoy Aquino International Airport or NAIA. Jeepney routes also ply the roads between the city and neighboring cities and towns in Metro Manila and Bulacan Province. San Jose del Monte S road network has a total length of 211.43 kilometers, not including the Bulacan Rizal Cavite Regional Expressway Bremcrex. The following are the main arteries of San Jose del Monte. S road network which link the 59 barangays with Metro Manila and the rest of Bulacan. Quirino Highway is a vital national road which stretches from the town of Norzagaray to North Caloocan City and the rest of Quezon City. Bacaui, San Jose Road, also called Gov. Fortunato Halili Avenue, is a vital provincial road which links the city passing through Tungkong Manga Tunco, via Muzon to the town of Sta. Maria, Bacaui and to the North Luzon Expressway. Sapang Pele Road, Sta. Maria Road links the Sapang Pele Resettlement Project to town of Sta. Maria passing through Brigi, Bulak, Brigi, Katman and Brigi, Patag in the said town. San Jose, Marilao Road links the city with the municipality of Marilao and to the North Luzon Expressway. This is now a permanent full exit. Sapang Pele Road links the Sapang Pele Resettlement Project to Quirino Highway and in the opposite end to Sapang Pele proper. IGAY Road links the upper barangay to Quirino Highway and Rodriguez, Rizal, formerly town of Montalban, Rizal. Bulacan Rizal Manila Cavite Regional Expressway is under construction. It can go to Rizal, Metro Manila, and Cavite. Water The bulk of the city's water requirement is being served by the city water district, while some subdivisions have their own independent water supply system. Power Power distribution is being undertaken by the Manila Electric Company, Maralca. The city hosts the biggest national grid corporation of the Philippines, NGCP, substation in the country in Barangay Dulong Bayan. Telecommunications, communications landline telephone systems are provided by the Digitel, PLDT, Bayontel and Globelines. Internet service is available through SmartBro, Digitel, PLDT MYDSL and Globe Broadband. Mobile telephone services are provided by Smart Communications, Globe Telecom and Sun Cellular. City government like other cities in the Philippines, San Jose del Monte is governed by a mayor and vice mayor elected to three-year terms. The mayor is the executive head and leads the city's departments in executing the city ordinances and improving public services. The vice mayor heads a legislative council consisting of 12 members 6 from District I and 6 from District II. The council is in charge of creating the city's policies. San Jose del Monte, being a part of the Bulacan province, has its mayor in the city council heading the Area Integrated Development Authority a special committee created during the term of then-Mayor Eduardo V. Riquero to concentrate on the improvement of three highly commercialized areas such as, Tungkong Manga, Muzon, and Sampal areas. This council formulates development plans that seeks to solve the problems and improve the conditions in the metropolis. Current city officials list of former municipal and city mayors barangays The city is divided into 59 barangays, which handle governance in a much smaller area. 
These barangays are grouped into two districts, 23 barangays comprise the first district while 36 compose the second, and the city has lone district, which is represented by a congressman in the country's House of Representatives. Of the 3,102 barangays in Region 3, the largest in terms of population size is Muzon in the city of San Jose del Monte, Bulacan with 106,603 persons. References External links San Jose del Monte City Bulacan Official website City of San Jose del Monte Official website Province of Bulacan MRT-7 Project, San Jose del Monte Intermodal Station Philippine Standard Geographic Code Philippine Census Information